Hey collective, hey, 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 this is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot and I am back. Thank you guys so much for all of your love, your support. I appreciate you guys so, so much, okay? So we're going to get into this energy. We're going to see what it is that spirit is wanting you guys to know at this current moment. All right, so let's take a look here. Peace, love, and light to you guys. I hope you guys are having a, a great Monday so far. I hope that your weekend has went pretty well as, as well, okay? All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Holy Spirit, what is the message that you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And also, guys, keep in mind that I am open for personal reading. So if you would like a personal reading, all of my information is down in the description box, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, I'll call upon you right now to join me in this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, guys, the overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so you could have Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo somewhere within your chart, or this is someone that you're dealing with. I feel like right now you guys may be working on a project, maybe focus, focusing on a business venture. This also can indicate that someone is wanting to work things out with you, okay? All right, so let's see. What's going on, Spirit, for Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the energy for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you. All right, so we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sag. We also have the Four of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag in reverse as well. Hmm. You guys are not talking to someone right now. You may have blocked this person out from your energy. This may have been a marriage or a twin flame situation uh, where you guys could have been married, maybe going through a divorce separation or if you're not married you guys gotta move out of the house you're no longer to living together anymore this is someone you're not talking to we have the two of swords aquarius Libra, gemini and we also have the ten of wands aries leo sad so this person puts you in a bind yeah you definitely have some block energy here could this person possibly stress you out you may have felt like this person brought so much baggage into the relationship area you guys had to separate possibly because of another woman or another man a third party yeah, you had a family with this person. You feel like this person was selfish. Maybe they started a family somewhere else with another woman or another man. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Okay. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Tell me about the Eight of Wands in the reverse for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the energy here, Spirit? Oh, hold on, guys. All right, so I'm going to take the one that flipped down. We have the Fool card in the reverse, Aries energy. Wow, a lot of fire signs here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, or you are uh, have fire sign within your uh, moon placement, Venus rising. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you, you don't want to be a fool for this person anymore. You feel like you're better off single with the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. You'd rather be single. You really don't need this person. You're enjoying the fruits of your own later, labor. Excuse me. Wow. Mm, you don't want to take this risk with this person anymore. You feel like, you, yeah, you don't want to deal with them. You may feel like this person is very manipulative here. You wasn't satisfied. All right. This could be another water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It looks like you guys are definitely moving on with the chariot card. You're unhappy. This person manipulated you. You no longer want to have a relationship with this person you're not willing to take that risk anymore wow you feel like a fool for dealing with this person wow all right four of wands in reverse tell me about the four of wands in the reverse four of wands in the reverse so this is definitely a breakup separation divorce here yeah all right, so we have the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We also have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. All right, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh, wow. So, yeah, whoever this is, this person is rushing back in. This person don't like the fact that you're single. They're rushing in. They have something to say. They're taking action towards you because they don't want to be in separation anymore. But you feel like this person didn't listen to your concerns. You feel like they were selfish, only thinking about their own feelings. 
So you feel like you're looking somewhere else where the grass is green on the other side, but this person's coming in with an apology because they're wanting to come back together and heal this connection. Yeah. Wow. Like I said, you may not be even talking to this person. I'm seeing no contact so much times here. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Why is that here? Wow. Eight of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wow. So we have some heavy air signs here and heavy fire. Wow. Tell me more. Two of swords. Okay. All right. So this card is the, oh, wow. Seven of wands. Yep. You guys may have Aries, Leo, or Saturn somewhere within your chart, or this is your person. I have nothing but fire signs here and air signs. So what it is, is that this person left you at a crossroad. Oh, this can be this person. They're at a crossroad because you're not dealing with them anymore. Hmm. You're exhausted. You're tired. You felt at, at, at this point, you just want to, you're giving up and you're blocking out this person. You don't want to stress or feel like the victim anymore in the situation. Again, you're not talking to this person. You don't want to be in this energy where you're stressed out, overthinking the situation. You're taking yourself out of that mental fog, feeling traumatized in this relationship, feeling trapped, mentally trapped. Wow. This person is paranoid about that as well. Wow, you guys are not talking at all. You feel like this person could have lied to you? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is that Ten of Wands here? Honestly, it's like this person or this could be you. Someone here feels like giving up. Someone is exhausted. Someone seemed like to me, maybe looks like to me, you may have not stood up for yourself. They, this person made you feel paranoid at a crossroads, didn't know what to do. But you're coming out of that victim mentality. What is the Ten of Wands? So that Ten of Wands, I feel like this person here really stressed you out a lot. It was so many burdens here. Or this, this can be your person. They're stressed out and burning out that, you know, you're blocking off your energy because they know that they lost an opportunity. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They missed an opportunity. And this is stressing this person out. Tell me more. Ten of Wands. Wow. Yeah, you guys are the Empress, the mother, the wife. Your beautiful energy. They miss an opportunity with the Empress. Oh, wow. This is a look at there. King of Swords here is again. So this person could have been disrespectful to you. They didn't take accountability. This person possibly was hiding secrets from you. And this is why you guys split because you feel like they're, they don't take responsibility for their actions. They're very immature, but you're coming out as a queen. Again, motherly energy. You're bored with this person's antics. You just want to focus on your kids, your home, your family, your career. You are the empress. You are a divine being. This is the way this person look at you. They messed up with an empress, guys. This person messed up with an empress. You don't get the opportunity again. I feel like the ace of pentacles, you were this person's blessing. Mm, you have evolved. Oh, my God. Oh, I know this person feel real dumb. I know they do. Because you don't want to hear no more apologies. You're done. You have leveled up from the nine of pentacles to the empress. Oh, my God. You can't get no better than that. Things are too unstable. This is why you guys separated. They play too many mind games. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You had to release and let this person go, Scorpio. All right. So I'm going to end it right there, Scorpios. Peace, love, and light to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Don't forget to hit the like button. Comment down below if this resonates with your story as well. Peace, love, and light, guys. Bye-bye.